Hello all you Facebookers, YouTubers, Tweeters out there, and all you coffee fanatics. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Mr. Coffee Review. I am your host, Mr. Coffee. Before we get into this review here, I just wanted to say a few things first. Number one, my thoughts and prayers go out to all the families who have been affected by these horrible shootings. Nobody should have to go through that. I pray that y'all find peace, love, and comfort in these dark hours. Second, my awesome brother's birthday is today. He is turning 31. So, Pete, if you are watching this video, happy birthday, dude, and I hope it's a good one for you. Uh, third, um, these coffee reviews are strictly opinion-based. Um, these are by no means meant to be taken strictly as fact. These are opinions. So, um, you know, t take what you want from them, leave what you don't want. These are mainly meant to be used as basic ideas of, you know, how coffees taste, which coffees are good, which coffees aren't so good. And this channel is supposed to help uh, people who are looking to try different coffees and even new beginning coffee drinkers who don't know that much about coffee. So, without further ado, let's get into this review here today. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we are reviewing Direct Trade Black Cat Classic Espresso. Yes, this is an espresso coffee. And there's a, just a few things on here. Uh, to read on the front here, it says uh, this that this is a mixture of Bur Bourbon, Katura, and Tipico grown at 1,150 meters to 1,850 meters. And I'm guessing that this is like above sea level. Uh, on the back here, it has a little bit about black cat it says the black cat project is by design a pursuit of something we will never catch the perfect espresso in all of its manifestations but that does not mean we will ever stop chasing it this project is rooted in our belief that only the best coffees can make the best espressos we want to push the boundaries of flavor we want you to experience amazing single origin micro lot and seasonal espressos with truly distinct flavor profiles. When all of these pieces come together, you are left with the beautiful simplicity and complexity you will find on the other side of a great shot of espresso. Oh, and I do need to mention on here that the front that it says this sy syrupy sweet espresso blend has been the staple of our lineup since the very beginning supreme balance and a wonderful sweetness make this a classic and this coffee is true to form this is a very nice brew however with espressos they tend to be very bitter so when you are scooping it with your scooper do level it off be or else it'll be way too strong if you don't like strong coffees. If you do like strong coffees, then it's not that big of a deal. So, let's uh, get a whiff of this coffee. Now, this is before it has been brewed. Um, right away, a very creamy scent coming off. Almost a sweet, buttery-like scent mixed with a very smooth coffee um, scent as well very pleasing um, this but however this is not an aromatic coffee at all when I do review an aromatic coffee I will let you all know um, today I am drinking from a sprint coffee cup sorry for the flash there a sprint coffee cup and on the side and on the back here it says sprint PCs I have no clue where to get these coffees but I uh, excuse me coffee mugs but I am sure that probably Amazon or someplace like that will sell so let's get a whiff of this after it has been brewed It's still maintaining that creamy like buttery sweetness of a scent with that coffee. 
uh, scent coming through, but now it also has a almost a, a syrup-like smell to it as well. Very pleasing to the nose. Let's uh, get a taste of this here. I'll swish it around my mouth and check the body on it um, and all the good flavors it has. Okay, right away, very strong coffee flavor. Very smooth though, very, very smooth. On the finish here, and still going, I'm picking up <clears throat> more sweetness, and again, that syrupy-like flavor, like it was talking on the packet. Very, very smooth very delicious and it is um, c consistently smooth to the last drop I have had multiple cups of this I highly suggest going to fresh market and picking this up it is extremely delicious if you are an espresso drinker now for those of you who are the ones who like to put flavored cream uh, excuse me flavored creamers in I might suggest using creamers that have a heavier sweetness to it. For instance, hazelnut would be good for this. Uh, caramel flavors would be good for this. And even if they sell it, a chocolate flavor would really complement the syrup notes and the coffee notes in the, uh, in, in the uh, coffee. So let's jump into the ratings on this. As far as the package design right here, you know, this is pretty much bold, right in your face kind of a design. I love black and red. Those are my favorite mixtures of colors. I am going to have to give this a 10 out of 10 rating on design for the package. As far as flavor, taste, and aroma, I'll give this a... 10 out of 10. Again, th of course, being a Primo coffee, it's going to taste good, but this is an extremely good coffee. Oh, I forgot to mention, though, it is a full body coffee. Extremely full body. Wonderful flavors. So, that's it for this video. Um, if you have any questions, comments, please note so in the comments section below. Um, if there are any coffees you would like to see me review in the future, please let me know which kind of coffee, who sells it, where I might buy it, what stores usually sell it, and I will see you all on the next one. Later.